Hey guys, it's Jesse here from BC Fishing Journal. We are at Spanish Banks at a two and a half meter tide, which is not low tide, but it's uh, it's got a little bit of exposure as you can see. And we're gonna go and try and do some uh, go shrimping. Usually I would come here at a much lower tide, like a one point something, uh, which offers a lot more uh, opportunity to get go shrimp, but we're out here with the boys, so I thought, hey, bring you along. So here's my oldest son, Asher, and uh, we're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna go and see if we can find some here. And I'm gonna show you how to do ghost shrimping. Ghost shrimp are a great bait for steelhead for a lot of different things, even bottom fishing. If you ever wanna go for a lot of different fish, they all love to eat ghost shrimp. So uh, if I can get a few of these, maybe I can toss them in a, a steelhead river vi video uh, one of these days here. So let's see what, how we do here. I'll bring you along. You can buy these pumps. You can get these pumps at some fishing shops and you can buy them online. Uh, this is a stainless steel one. You can, I think they come in an aluminum, plastic. You can even make your own. I've made my own before in the past. Um, but this one, this one works. I've had, this has been the best one I've, I've, I've used. When it comes to grow shrimp, and what you're looking for is things like, like these holes here, these little holes here. Sometimes they're clams, sometimes they're ghost shrimp. So here, Asher, can you hold this here? Can you point that steady right there? And don't move it. Yeah, here, let me just put this over here. So I'm just gonna try. Not the texture you want. See, there's a ghost shrimp right there. There, first pump. See there? There we go. First pump. So what it is is it's got that kind of a slurpy texture. So there it is. First one. Ha ha! So we'll toss Yay. that in the bucket. I like to usually look at a, look at them for um, right on the edge of these water where it's still a little sloppy and wet. I find that's a good spot because they're 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 just starting to dig down. Look here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back. Anything? Oh, there's one right there. You did. We got him. Good call, Ash. You got it. He nailed it. Look at Asher. He nailed it. There's a little. This is a little guy. That's it. That's a. Looks like a female because it doesn't have the big clipper. Try to snap him. All right. There's probably a bunch here. There's probably a whole family of them here. Let's check them out. Oh yeah. There's two of them in there. Two of them in that one thing. One thing. Look at this, some smaller ones there. There's like a little baby one. We won't keep the baby one. Too small. You can see him. Look at him go in the water. Look at him. He's walking. Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. He's look at him cruise in the snow. In the, watch, he'll go down the one of the holes here. Step back a bit. Step back, step back, step back. He's going to dig down. Watch him dig away. See him? Look at him burrow into the ground there. Look at him. He's burrowing in there. Look at him go. Look at him go, he's almost done. There he goes. He's just burrowing away. Okay, there's probably a lot more here. Right here, Daddy. Okay. Right there. Okay, let's get him. Right here, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! That's a good one. That's a big one. That's a big female. Oh, no, actually, that's not too bad. It's a smaller, it's a good sized female, though. The males are much bigger. Daddy right here! Daddy right here! Yeah. There. Oh yeah, good one. Oh, there's one! Aha! We did get him on that thing. <laughs> More. I got that one. You totally did. Wait, right here. Oh boy! He's wet now. <laughs> Boy, we should have brought your swimming trunks, man. What? We should have brought your swimming trunks. It's March, and Asher's like, oh yeah, bring on summer. Yeah. We're almost at spring, but you're always like a season ahead, it seems like. And you're never in summer. You're pretty much, or he's never never in winter. He always dresses like he's in a tropical climate. It's like these boys never get cold. It's like clothing is like a problem for them. It's like... The water well, is super cold. Su it's super cold? I'd rather to go to there. Hi guys! Bounce! Bounce! There is one! You want to pick it up? You get him. Get him. Yeah, pick him up. It's a female. 
Because the female doesn't have the big claw. It's a perfect little female there. Nice. Look at that. Beauty. No big claw. Okay, I think we got enough. So we got about. Uh, are those going to be our pet? We got about a dozen or so in there, maybe a little bit more. Daddy, are those going to be your pet? No. I'm only going to keep what I'm going to need for just one trip, and that's probably even a lot. Maybe that'll be for me and a buddy. And then um, usually what I store them in is some seaweed and uh, so a little bit of water. Uh, you can put the mud in there, but they won't last long in there. They only last maybe a couple days. Um, and the big guys, if they have the big claws, they'll start killing each other. So you want to tear those big white claws off just to, to prevent them from killing each other. But if you're going to get these guys, you got to fish them within, I'd probably say, the next two or three days. You can also keep them in the fridge too. I've kept them in the fridge um, to keep them cooler. And that I've found that that's worked with like cold, wet cloths soaked in like salt water, uh, like paper towels, things like that. I've, I've been able to keep them a little longer that way. But unless you've got like a tank with like oxygen and kind of recycled water, they don't last very long. So, or I haven't found a way. If you know a way, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Great bait, free bait, yes, free, it's a good factor. And uh, I actually find that these guys work pretty good, even in low clear conditions. So usually like they're a big bait, but I've found that steelhead will bite them. I've seen them take it in low clear conditions, which I know can be challenging because usually you're always downsizing your, your stuff, right? You're using smaller pieces of row, smaller bead. All your presentations are much smaller, but I've put some big, big guys like this on a hook and I've seen steelhead bite them. Uh, in clear water, low clear water, so um, I think this is a good bait for that. That's, I don't know, it's an option. Another one of your arsenal, if you wanna, if you're finding you wanna differentiate your baits from what everybody else is throwing, this is a good option, all right? So I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration on how I like to rig up these go shrimp on, uh, on my hooks. So I'm just at my local river here. This is the setup, so I've got my float, I've got a weight, I've got my typical, you know, your typical setup that I have here with the dual lock and a swivel, and this is my leader line. I've got a little uh, weight there to weigh down the, the bait, so we got about, it's about two and a half feet long, and here's a hook. So this is a little bit small, so I might switch it up, so this is only a size two, I think, but for a ghost shrimp, you need a bigger hook. You'll need probably a one-aught hook maybe um, maybe a two-aught, depending on the size of the ghost shrimp. So um, it's a big bait, so you want to make sure that the hook is exposed. If you use too small of a hook, uh, you, won't, you won't get that, little, that, you know, that hook exposed there. So, um, but just for, the sake, of for the, the sake of rigging this up, I'm just going to find the smallest ghost shrimp I can find and use this little hook here. So let's try this out. Male, there's a small female here, so maybe I'll just use this as a small female right there. There's some big males, I'm going to use those guys. I'm well, here we have said bait so usually what I like to do is the tail is is pretty hard it's pretty firm so here's there's the head there's kind of the middle piece I don't know all the technical terms for this but I usually like to go through the tail which is pretty firm so that's pretty pretty good right there and then usually what I do is I go through oh this guy's really small so I might even just do one less oh look she's trying to clip it all right, they're lively. <laughs> yeah, let's try. I'll go right through the tail. Bring the hook in so it's on the line now. Usually what I'll do is one more hook through. Now you can use spider wire to assign these two. When they're this small, it's actually really hard to do this. this is a lot harder. I should have picked a bigger one for an example, but I like to go 
through there's a little like almost like the rib cage there I like to go through the rib cage and out out here like here just like so see that see how it's now it's hanging on there so this can slide up sometimes and then if you want I can do because this is such a small I'm not going to bother but you can do a little half hitch so I can use this and wrap it around um, the tail that's another way to do it well, thanks so much for coming out and spending a few minutes with me. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful, let me know by dropping me a nice comment or a uh, thumbs up. We always appreciate that. That's always good for the Google alg algorithm. And uh, Asher, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video.